Hey everyone, Maka here. Uh, I just wanted to do a discussion about uh, all the trailers that I saw this month that uh, seemed interesting, right? I've got, I've got like, how many up here? God knows, like, sort of 20, 30 trailers. So we're going to watch them all, we're going to watch them all, right? And I'll just give you my thoughts as we're seeing. This is uh, Dragon's Dogwood 2. As you know, we played the first one uh, to completion and I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I've not seen this full presentation. It's like five minutes, so we'll, we'll, we'll see this. What's it this is all about? I will skip for it. I just want to see out like, the, the gameplay in that. Yeah, this looks really, really good. I might have to play this day one. We we might do this day one. I can't kind of just feel obligated at this point since we uh, platted it. Doesn't this look cool? This is the Witcher shit. <laughs> it's not the Witcher, and it's not um, uh, what is it? Elder Scrolls. And magic looks really good in this game. I might try it. Magic in the um, what is it? In the first game wasn't that great. Love these uh, monster designs as well. But these are the old ones still. And then this is the new one. That's the new one. I think that was an old one as well. I'm curious what it's like. Crystals in their heart. What's all that about? What's all that about, mate? Did I give a date for this? I'm curious. Yeah, we're seeing a date, but it does show the console. So PS5, Xbox, Steam. Okay. Well, hopefully, yeah. Uh, well, hopefully, what is it? I get a PS5 before this. So I didn't really show much else this gave information. Okay. It's neat, it's neat. I'm looking forward to this one. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Wait, what was that? What was that? Drag. Drag. <laughs> Gotta slow it down real quick. Drag. Uh, uh, what was that at the bottom? Was that subtitles? Drag. Drag. So I'm gonna, oh, it'll be available on uh, PS or Xbox. Okay. All right. Good to know. I guess. Good to know. Right. Trailer one done. All right. Next one. All right. Uh, this is a poor justice. Yes. Yes. This is the uh, collection. Of uh, was Ace Attorney 4, 5, and 6, which I've really been looking forward to. Support Justice is really good. It's probably one of my favourites. Objection! Objection. <laughs> this might not be a day one for me, but I do want to. I do want to pick this up at some point for about a reasonable price. Okay, and we get the 3DS games as well. This one especially has like a really good um, plot twist at the end. Did not see it coming. The Spirit of Justice. I don't remember Spirit of Justice that much. I just remember like bits and bits, bit, was it bits and pieces from it. Be interested to revisit this one. 
<laughs> what if we're gonna like have every single like, Ace Terry game in one collection? Like one, two, three, and four, five, six. Twenty twenty four. Uh does it say PS4? I wish it just have this like this trailer in the back in what is it in front of this? But I see I see a four there, so I'm assuming I'm assuming it's gonna be on PS4 and PS5. Sweet. Okay, we'll definitely look into that. Alright, next. Uh Luigi Mansion 2, this is a very um short trailer. But it's like, oh look! I've got Luigi's Mansion 2. Well, it's coming out on Switch. Well, this is cool, but um, I, I, I want the first game, like the original version of the first game, not the 3DS version, which I, get, which I assume they're, they're going to do that one. 3DS, Luigi, Mansion 1. I'm assuming they're going to just port this one. Like, it's fine, I guess, but I, it doesn't have as much charm as the original one, in my opinion, anyway. But we'll see, we'll see. I, I, I just hope we get it in some form, right? As we get in some form, I'm happy, right? Alright, next we've got Power World. <laughs> this fucking game. I'm actually quite looking forward to this. Look forward to playing it with my friendos. It just looks so stupid, but fun at the same time. I don't know why, but just in my mind, I'm thinking, is this going to be like Genshin Impact? Like, it just gives off that vibe for me. So I might, I might even like it, if that's the case. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, God. Oh, it's, it's all Mac playing trailers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already got one set. Thank you very much. Fuck off. Alright. So next we've got Sonic Superstars, new Sonic game. I'm really cool to this one. Really looking forward to this one. We did do a Sonic 1, 2, 3 and CD recently. So we thought we could do a one. I wonder if we get to like choose um I, I know that like, it shows all the characters you can play as long as you can choose them all from the get go. Or if you have to unlock them as you go. So I'm, I'm, more, I'm really curious to see how Amy plays. Because uh, Amy's like different from the other ones. That I played anyway, because I've played Knuckles, I've done Tails, I've played Swipe, but I've never done an Amy run in the Swipe game before. I'm interested how uh, she plays. I also hear this game is like being sold for full price. And I don't think this is a game that's going to be, what is it, that long. So this might be another sale game for me. But I do want to play it. I absolutely do. Yeah, look forward to this one. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is, um, yeah, yeah, this is one where it's like Dragon Quest. It's done by uh, Akira Toriyama, the uh, artwork. It's based on a, uh, obvious one shot manga that he done. Yeah, I, I love how this looks. Absolutely be checking this one out. Absolutely. 
It's, it's, it's kind of like Breath of the Wild, right? And Tears of the Kingdom, right? But actually fucking good, right? Actually fucking good. That's, that's what my immediate thought is when I say this. Open world. Go beat shit up. Discover all the kit. All the, what is it? All the things. Looking forward to this one. No, we'll, we'll definitely be checking it out at some point. Uh, oh, now we're going to the Devolver stuff, okay. Uh, I don't remember a lot of these. So we'll, we'll, see, we'll, we'll see what this one is. I just remember it, it looked cool. But that's about it. Oh yeah, the tarot card game. That's right. This, is, this looks neat. I never really uh, got into tarot card reading before, but I think the concept of it's neat. I love the uh, pixel art and the art style they've got going on here. Shape her fate. Cosmic Wolf Sisterhood. This is Switch. This song. Oh, it's it's coming out this year. Well, that's one to look out for then. That is definitely one to look out for. Alright, next. Bleak Sword DX. I think this game's out already. But I love how this looks. I hope it comes to a PlayStation. Like these kinds of graphics, sick, absolutely sick. Of the whole like um, black and white sick with like a bit of red in it. Love that shit. Absolutely love that. And switch. So it's available now. It's available now, so we'll be keeping an eye out for that. Keep an eye out for that, see if we can get out on sale. I'll definitely pick that one up. Uh, Sludge Life 2. Uh, I don't remember this one. I love, I love the uh, aesthetic already. Oh, yeah, yeah, this one. That's right. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a Jet Set Radio. Well, I've never even played the first one, so I'm, I'm quite curious. I'm quite interested now. I've seen that. So it, it looks really cool. It does look really cool. Right, and then, oh, and then this one, Persona 3. <laughs> we just recently finished Persona 3. But now we get to play it again next year. So I wasn't even sure that we were going to do this. There was lots of rumours about it, but I was like, eh. I doubt it's going to happen. But lo and behold, we have it. 
We do have that. And it looks just like Persona 5, but blue instead of red. I'm curious how they change the dungeon as well, because I hope this dungeon is actually interesting. The dungeon freeze is kind of crap. But apparently they're not going to have the um, female character or the um, uh, what is it? The bonus content that was in free. Oh, what version of free was it? The uh, the answer. That's it. I don't have the answer. But I'm assuming they're going to be in the um, in like the royal version of that, like the definitive version. And that's what I think anyway. That's what I think. Next, sticky business. Oh yeah, this is a battle game. That's right. This is a game where you pretend to be 8 bit for 8 bit battle. You make all the stickers. But this time about all the um, machine fucking up. So tr trans, it was, it was a trans pride hair flag. Love to see it, love to see it. So that is really a thing for me, but I know um, a couple of you out there might be interested in this. This thing comes out uh, this year, apparently. Yeah, I think we're getting to the wholesome direct stuff now at the moment. Uh, Bubblegum Galaxy, what's this Hako. one? The new internet this is Hako, the new internet Bubblegum Galaxy. She'll now show us how to build planets. Sorry, I meant to say restore the galaxy? Build a planet by placing tiles. That's a lot of bunch of games like this. Finish missions to earn points and additional tiles. Place your tiles wisely to complete quests and win stars. I, I, I like the uh, stack of this one. The more stars you get, the more planets you'll be able to restore. Each planet will have its own quirks and special rules. But I, I've never really played a game like this. Once you gather stars and prove your skill as a planet architect, you will get to know more about your co-workers. And look, you've got uh, all this like, this like game mode as well. Which, if you ask me, is more interesting, but... What is happening? This doesn't sound so I'll good. give this one a shot. Help Hako rebuild and save Bubblegum Galaxy. Check out the demo. Available now on Steam. Oh, there's a demo out? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just give that a shot. Maybe I'll just have a look at it. I'll, I'll keep the window open so I don't forget. That was this one. I am a caterpillar. Oh yeah, this is... This is gonna be like... Like PlayStation 1 like game vibes. It's like unique, random experiences, but... Like interesting kind of thing. It's not something you'd see back in the day and just they just throw an idea at a wall and just hope it lands kind of thing. But I think it looks really cool. I I, I love the concepts. I love seeing stuff like this. Uh, we don't we have a date for it yet. Be sure to wish this it because I, I think that's really cool. I like it. I love the idea of it. What's this one? Is it tabletop role playing games? I don't remember this one. It's kind of like a Paper Mario kind of style to it. That's probably why I liked it. it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, 
So that accident, accident. I, I, I need to know more about it though. I think I need to know more about it before I make a decision on that one. Yeah, I love, I love the look, love the look of it. Uh, oh, this is the um, yeah, it's like the Pokemon kind of game, but it's like sport themed. This could be, this could be fun. Tunes already. What's been nice at the start? It said it's made by the Chicory devs and uh, uh, Wonder Song devs. So you already know it's going to be quality based on that. Oh, this is a Kickstarter game. We'll see a Kickstarter at. Uh, does it not say. So look, Beastie Ball Kickstarter. It's a Kickstarter at. Oh, there. Um, seventy-six thousand. Okay, so let's go get funded. Sweet. Uh, so on a match playing randomized randomized mode, a sec. Oh, I've got no idea if he's come to console, but yeah, I'm interested in this. This is, uh, this is like, I don't, I'm not really much of a sports person, but I quite like the look of that. I don't know what that one's cool. Just like this game, this game also looks really good. I can love the uh, the graphics here. Now, what is this kind of uh, graphic style called? It's like Game Boy, kind of, but not really. I don't know, but I, I actually really love this vibe. This is definitely a me game. Absolutely. Plonk. Did you have a date for this one? Oh, next year, okay. It's coming out on Steam and, and uh, Switch. Okay, cool, cool. Well, I'm, I'm hoping it comes to PS4, but... That uh, uh, looks really good. I, 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 I love the look of that. Absolutely love the look of that. Right, town sake. I think this is another one where I just love the uh, the look of it more than anything else. I think I've seen a couple of games do this uh, kind of gameplay style. 
I've never really played any of them. There's a, there's a lamb, Cult of the Lamb. Short hike. I need to play a short hike actually, I do I do have it. I seem to play it still. Yeah, another neat one. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, what's this next one? Well, the Iron's Heart. Oh, yeah, this is a blacksmith game, yeah. This one's fun. Explore dungeons and stuff. The Craig here, what is it, Smith A? Yeah, I, I, I quite like this. Look at this one. Uh, Q4 23. Uh, Xbox, PC. Oh, it's come to PS4, PS5 as well. Cool. Yeah, keep an eye out for that one. Keep an eye out for that one. There's, there's so many games we have to look out for, right? So many games. Uh, Story oh, says, uh, isn't this out, out now? I swear this game's out now. See how much more choice you have now, and so I've made the decision to make myself. You can even choose what pronouns you'd like characters. Mason yeah, I like the pronouns up this call. But it's another story of Seasons game. New We've also added new hybrid crops so you can experiment and make some unusual creations. Naturally, this game is all not really that into Story Seasons, so but again, I know there's a couple out there that would be into it. Say goodbye, so let me leave you with a quick snuggle montage. So it looks neat. Uh, June 12th. Oh, so it's already out then. It's already out. So if that's interesting to you, feel free to check it out. Feel free to check it out. Oh, we yeah, have got this one. This is probably my favourite looking like farming sim that I've seen uh, this month. It's like some Game Boy Advance kind of shit. I'm kind of here for it. So this is what I'm more into. I'm more into like this. There's some magic as well. Dungeons you can explore and caves that say this is a cool. Uh I've only got Steam at the moment. Yeah, I hope this one also comes to console. Cause that could be good on Switch if you ask me. <sighs> Alright, now we're into the uh, Nintendo stuff. Here's uh, the new Det Detective Pikachu game. Never played the first one. I don't know if it's worth checking out or not. But I have seen the movie. Tim Goodman. You two are the ideal detective duo. Disguises are a key part of detective work. Quit goofing off and investigate. 
Ah, so much for my coffee. Something tells me this is just a beginning. A light roast today, huh? <laughs> There is something the two of you must know. You too, based on our deductions. Suddenly, me say, is clear, isn't it? A bolt of brilliance. The name's Pikachu, and I'm what you might call a great detective. So, is this, so is this here as well? I'm sure, where somebody would bring me some coffee. Yeah, I, I still try to play the first one, so maybe after I play the first one, play the second one, if I like it, that is. That is if I like it. But next we have a uh, Super Mario RPG uh, remake. Never played the original. I've never played the original, so I'm pretty excited for this one. I'm pretty excited for this. I might pick up the uh, physical for this one. I have to look into it. Yeah, it's just pre-order today, so I have to look into it. I don't think I charge you all automatically. I think I do. But this looks really good. Um, it looks very faithful to the original. I've only ever done like the start of the game, and I just stopped playing it because I lose interest. But I really want to play this one and actually uh, get through it. So I, I, know, I know the ending, kind of. I know what the, the final boss is, but I, I don't know how or why you get there, or what their purposes or anything. Yeah, I'm quite looking forward to this. I played like a Mario uh, themed RPG. I think the last one I played was Sticker Star, and that was very light as an RPG. I'm also curious to see if they have um, uh, the Final Fantasy boss that's in this. Now I have to wait and see. It comes out November. November, okay. Okay. So it might be a, a early Christmas gift for myself right there. <laughs> we'll see. Really now we've got uh, Dragon Quest Monsters. I've never played a Monsters game. I know, as a Dragon Quest fan, it's surprising. Never played one. I should be something I should fix. Just I should play some of the Monsters games. But yeah, in this game plays a Pissarro from 4. He's like the, the main villain. So I think that's quite interesting. So we're going to see up uh, uh, Pissarro's, uh, what is it, journey? To before he went up like, Super Evil. I still have to play through like Dragon Quest games on, on a stream. That's what I keep meaning to do, but I just don't do it. <laughs> one day, one day. This here at four, which is which would be technically the antagonist for us, since we play as a villain in this game. It's neat. It's neat. I'm, 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 I, don't, I don't know. I might check that one out, but I do want to play the other ones first. Next, we've got uh, Pikmin Four. Uh, this comes comes out this month, I believe. I uh, think we will play this uh, day one. 
As its newest recruit, you'll venture I still need to play the demo. I might uh, play a uh, player you'll need maybe every next week. Called Pikmin. We'll say. And the adorable rescue pup, Ochi. Good boy. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, repair the damaged rescue core spaceship and save any castaways you find. All right, let's explore together. Yeah, I'm really cool since I love uh, Pikmin. Pikmin are ready for action. Blow your whistle together. Specifically, I like a one, two the most, Throw your which we'll get into in a, in, in a bit. Don't worry about that. For you. Ochi will also prove to be a great canine companion. But all I know from this game is that there's an Alterolot lock on in this game. I wonder if you got to turn that off. Obstacles in your way. That seems to make the game a bit too easy for me. There you go. Ochi can even stand up to the wildest creatures. Collect lots of treasures scattered around the planet to fix the spaceship's radar and open up new areas to explore. I like this bit. There's, there's an indoors. There's an actual human house you go into. And this, this as well, there's caves. There's caves from two. I love the caves from two. I'm sorry for seeing them back. And even more treasures are around every corner. You might unexpectedly find some castaways too. I'm curious about what this means. Hey, wait a minute. They can save him, but like, leafy individual just what can you do with him? You gotta stop him. It's time for a Dandori battle. Then you got this, which Embrace may or may not be multiplayer, but I'm not too sure yet. Issuing commands to your Pikmin and Ochi. Collect no, if it's going to be part of the main game or not. The time limit to win. It probably will we'll have like a, a force encounter or two. To remind you, hey, the, do you know there's a uh, multiplayer mode in this game? Activities back at base camp, which is right next to your spaceship. Train Ochi and teach him new skills. Of course, that skills and that you can upgrade your captains as well. Or build new equipment and items. Yeah, here, so I think it's interesting. So instead of finding your upgrades, you do it. You do it in a menu. You can eventually set out for night expeditions. Makes it a bit easier, but. Uh, I oh, no, I still prefer the um so one Pippin Two. We just found found we not K's in that. The new glow Pikmin, which only appear at night. A new Pikmin, a glow Pikmin. Find luminols that produce valuable glow sap. These mounds also attract various wildlife, so use glow Pikmin to drive them away and protect the luminols. I like this. I just blow up. Many more surprises await on this uncharted planet. And that bit of reminds me of Toy Story. By your side, no challenge is too big or too small. Pikmin 4. That yeah, comes out uh, this month. 21st. How long is that? One, two. Oh, so about three weeks away. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, again, I, I want to play that. As soon as possible, I'll try and get it for Saturday on on that on that week. The Our next we got uh, Metal Gear Master Collection, which uh, we did know about already. It's coming out on Switch. This compilation includes Metal Gear Solid, infiltrate and regain control Sorry. of Shadow Moses Island. Metal Gear Solid 2. So speaking of a uh, Metal Gear 1, 1, 2, I, I still need to platinum them. Or platinum 2 at least. We can't platinum 1 until we get um, this Master Collection because it's not coming out on PS4. And hey, look, we beat this game recently. I still play this one. That's our next game we're playing. I don't know about the uh, NES versions. I don't know if I can be bothered to play those ones. I'm just start watching a video on that. 
play books and master books with story and character info. So I, 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 like, I like all this, mate. Again, I wish it was on PS4, please. Please. It's covering everything apart from PS4. Drives me fucking nuts. The first three Metal Gear Solid games will also be available separately on Nintendo eShop. Yeah, and combine separate, which is nice. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm still bitter that it's not on PS4. It's time to move but oh well, we got on PS3 style. at least. Get right, new Wario game. I might play this one. Game. So I do love WarioWare. Hold two Joy -Con controllers, but we'll see. Action. If I do stream it, I, I will, um, oh, uh, what is it? I have my camera on. What you do so you can see me to these weird moves. React quickly with the right movement and you'll so I'm assuming this thing could be like a one stream game. Why are where games aren't that long normally? Play with a friend in local co-op. Sync up your actions to beat each micro game. Plus, up to four players can live it up across various mini games in party mode. For example, this dicey board game is gonna keep you on your toes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not interested in that board game whatsoever. Just throwing it out there. Moving in over 200 lightning fast micro games. In WarioWare, move it. Launching on the Nintendo Switch system November 3rd. Also, just to ruin this um, logo, this, uh, what is it? Expansion mark on the right. It looks like a butthole. You're welcome. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. You're welcome, mate. I know it's supposed to be a cactus, but it just looks like a butthole to me. And now I've got this new uh, Super Mario World. Or Super Mario Wonder, rather. I like how this looks. I don't like the plant that's talking to you. I'm not a huge fan of that. This looks fun. This might be a, a day one play for me. And that, I, I don't like the, the thing talking to you. I'm assuming it's only going to be for the first couple levels. Okay, and then just you, you upgrade up the level, and just weird shit happens. I think it's an interesting concept. comes out. It's on the uh, thing. That's just uh, a direct date. October. Okay, October twentieth. And of course we get the uh, the meme, which is an uh, elephant Mario. Oh, yes, that's in the the questionable well, art. It's uh, definitely something. <laughs> it's definitely something. I'm looking forward to it though. I'm looking forward to this one. Speaking of things I'm looking forward to, here's uh here's this. Pikmin 1 and 2 on a Switch, and this is out already. But I'm waiting for the physical, and I'm 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 getting that. 
I'm absolutely getting that. I'm hitting one or two of some of my favourite games. It's so fun, I, I just love playing them, they're really re replayable for me. But I, I don't agree with the price point for one. Like they're both £25. But you can beat Pikmin 1 in like... 4 or 5 hours probably. If you know what you're doing. Now th th this one is worth the price. I think it should have been like £30 for both of them, personally. I'm interested in players, so I like how all the um, like licensed stuff is all different. So that's the thing I'm, I'm most interested in, just seeing all the differences and just nerding out about it. And everyone who's going to care about is me. I've played this game like so many times. Oh, we could also try and get the um the secret ending as well. I've never done the secret ending. We could try to do that. But there's as a physical coming out next month, or is it the month after? Yeah, I am gonna pick it up for sure. Right, this is a random one. Goddamn Bitrip Runner is getting a new game. This is a title drop. But yeah, that's getting a new game. Look forward to that because I love Bitrip Runner. I do want to pick up the uh, collection of the older ones. I'm hoping this one's uh, good as well. It, says, it, it seems like it's based on the original one. So we'll see. Ah, okay, now we're going into the Annapurna stuff. I have um, reacted to um, this showcase, and I'll input uh, clips here and there that I, you know, the, my good reactions, right? Because I, I, there was a lot of it where I just sat there and said nothing, but, but yeah, I'll, I'll just give you uh, my, my brief thoughts as we go. But here's a uh, Lauren and Laser Eyes. I, 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 I'm really excited for this game. I'm really excited for this. It's made by Simogo, the same people who've done um, uh, Sino and Wild Hearts. Yes, it's sick. You can expect to be contacted by them soon. They will possibly hire an actor to communicate with you through a video. This video is designed to gauge your interest in interpreting patterns. Patterns. Yeah, what was that? This video is designed to gauge your interest in interpreting patterns. With you through a video. This video is designed to gauge your interest in interpreting So I'll, I'll see what it says. Amaze. Something of larger than you and I surrender. And let guide you. So what does it even say? Patterns. Barely read patterns. that. Patterns. Patterns. And solving patterns. Puzzles. 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 Because of the metaphysical aspect. So this seems like way too big brain for me, but I'm, I really want to play it. Yeah, it seems really good. It's like a codec thing here at the end here. Uh, someone commented what that could be. Uh, yeah, release date revealed at a later date is what that supposedly says. 
Yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Really cool to this one. It's probably my most anticipated game, if I'm honest. Right, here's Cocoon. Oh, oh and this one's about the most anticipated game. Fuck that. Lorland Laser Eyes. Oh, I love this. You just jump out of the world. You can't move it places. That, that seems interesting. They just keep jumping out of it. And you can take the world with you as well. Seems nuts. Seems really crazy, but um, I, I, I kind of like this. This looks really cool. They got boss fights. Or boss fight singular, maybe? Yeah, that, that looks neat. Sneak, don't have much to say about it, but it looks neat. Oh, here's, here's the lemon game. I'll keep this now. I'm dubbing this now. We just uh, take photos of stuff. It looks like really, like really sick. So it's, it's not a mocha game though. I, I, I'd fall asleep playing this game. I would 100% fall asleep playing this game. I do have to be a location now. It's like in Japan, it looks like. I don't know if it's all in Japan, but. But I, I, like, I like, how, like how it looks. I'm curious about what the, the goal is in this, if it has one. Apart from just to take nice pictures. Now we've got a teaser of tea. This is a new game by the Katamari dude. Another one I'm really looking forward to. I noticed the faces of people are like the faces of Watton, which is another game they made. I hope it's better than Watton because I don't really like it that much. I'm kind of what the game's actually going to be. We just start trying to live daily life or just being in a tea pose the entire time. But next thing, um, I'm looking forward to this one. Absolutely, absolutely. I don't know if it's a day one for me, but I'm, I'm curious to how it is. I'm curious about it. Hello, I'm Richard Hogg, and I'm one of the. I just want to talk him, but no, this is Flock. And I'm Pip War. I do the narrative design and some game design. It's nice with a game like Flower. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm coming over. Flock is a. Game I get some sort of, like unique idea. That I think it's really interesting. You find creatures, you charm them, and they join your flock. It's also a game where you can just hang out with your friends. So you can't get all the uh, different creatures. The boomerang one 
Those are the Cosmets. I have a few varieties. Then I have a Thrip and a Big Henry. Yeah, I don't know why we don't watch it, but I just thought like I thought this is an M game. I don't know if it is an M game, but that's my immediate fault. We can go and find one if you like. So we're taking Pip across the grasslands to find her a slumbering rustic for her flock. There's one in here. Can you hear it? It's snoring. Over by this pond in this little cup. I'll have to move slowly so I don't spook it. Maybe we shouldn't wake it up, but I'm going to charm it. To charm this rustic, Pip has to position herself at just the right distance from it. Not too close or too far away. And her bird and the flock will sing to the creature to charm it. Look at that. I'm going to call her Cupzilla. Pip, check out my sheep. Look at them, little munchers. It's probably this bit. You have some flying sheep right them. here. You leave them to graze, they get woolly, and then you use the wool to make clothes. Did I tell you I made the sheep? Okay, there is. I crocheted it. Oh, I love it. I think I saw that and I was like, oh, yeah, that, uh, this is an end game then. Oh, yeah. Just because they crocheted the thing. Sunset Sprug. This is an end game now. We didn't find it because it wasn't sunset last time. We were looking in broad daylight. I love these frogmouth bleeps. They just scream uh, in such a freezing way. Can you see me over here? Oh yeah, look at that. Whoosh. I've got my glow buddies with me. This forest is beautiful at this Can time. Can like, swap out? Are you creatures or not? Sometimes they have like that lot, but then other times it's out of anything. And you're sort of going up and down like you're on the high seas. So I'm curious how it's going to work. Yeah, so you don't have anything in this one. No. It's a mother and her little calf. They're singing. Let's join in. Yeah, well, I'm excited for this one, and it's coming out on PS4 as well. It looks pretty neat. Just saying, it looks pretty neat. So we've got one, two, three, four, five more. So I'm going to put this here because there's one game, one last. This is Ghost Bike. I love the tunes in this in this trailer. The tunes in this one are really good. I just check out his band that's making this. Like the music. I'm also interested in the in the tunes and the game, but film uh, Italian is a bit better. Film Italians do it better. Oh, I'm looking at that later. I'm looking at that later. But it looks neat though. That the game does look neat. It doesn't need. I need to know more about it, though. I need to know more about it. Uh, oh, yeah, here's a random uh, Xbox showcase game. Wait, right, it's just not Persona. anime shit but I think it looks neat. 
probably a game I play on my own. I don't know if it's a scream game for me, but we'll see. We'll see. Two credits for Persona 3, 4, and 5, see? So it's, it's basically a new Persona. I don't know, we'll see. It looks like Stylize is fuck though. So I, I do love how it looks. It's like the biggest appeal for me. Did we get a date for this one? 24. Interesting, interesting. Uh, Xbox and Windows. I'm assuming it's coming out on PlayStation as well. Play it on Xbox Series X and S. Apparently Xbox Series? How about no? How about no? Uh, back so oh, this is the... Like the mech game. I'm Ben Ruiz. Which reminds me of a Phantom Crash. Kind of. Designer of Bounty Star. Bounty Star is a game about a broken but powerful ex-soldier, now a bounty hunter, in a post-post-apocalyptic American desert. Post-post-apocalyptic. And she's trying to start a new life in a place far from home, traumatized from a profound mistake she made at the end of her military career. One half of the gameplay experience is a third-person action game shooting mechanics. Yeah, I, I love looking at that. In her marks, dead or alive, in her customizable infantry mech. Throughout the experience, the players will obtain all kinds of exciting mech weaponry and utilities and use them against increasingly bigger and badder foes. In the other half of the gameplay experience, the protagonist cleans up her life and develops her bounty hunting operation in the safety of her newly acquired home. On Is this, the this bit I'm not too sure about, but pre I'm intrigued. Gas station and tune -up shop with a lot of potential. The player will learn how to be an effective bounty hunter in this scarce and dangerous world in which self-sustaining ways of life are absolutely vital. She will grow and obtain food and use it to cook meals that enhance her focus in different ways. She will obtain scraps and crafting materials and use them to build devices that enhance both her personal and combat endeavors. She will befriend and be visited by all manner of characters, all of whom are playing an important role in her current phase of life. Bounty Star is ultimately about a human pushing out inner demons, rebuilding herself and her personal environment, and relearning what it's like to be a force for good in a place that very badly needs it. As a gameplay experience, it is all about engaging, fun, modern action mechanics that many types of players will be able to enjoy, but not without being challenged. Thanks so much for watching. Bounty Star is coming in early 2024. Oh, next year, okay. This looks really interesting to me. And it's coming on PS4 as well. My PS4 tile, sick. Absolutely sick. Right, next. Uh, this is the last Annapurna one. Still think it's a good idea to go home? There was no one they showed, but I was interested in that Java. game. Can you blame them? But this looks cool. I, I love the style of this one. Dad, stop being so sensible. Timber Hills, our hometown. Full of gossiping aunties, parental expectations, and your past mistakes. Hope you're ready for some long so I don't know much about it, but I think it looks really cool. Like a Scott Pilgrim kind of thing going on. So I love this expression. It's funny. I have to make up with my first love, find out what's going on with the creepy skate cult run by a bear mascot, win my mother's approval, and track down my sister who's avoiding me, all before the most dangerous battle of all. My mother is coming to Timber Hills. The women in your family, they're all terrifying. I'm doomed. <laughs> Advice to you, Jala. Die 
So our art concept for that as well. It's interesting. So it's going to come up next this year as well. Right. Alright, last one. Last one. Most important one. The most important one. It's not one of the first announcements we got. But I'm sure showing it last because it deserves it. But uh, uh, it's the game. It's the game that I'm really looking forward to. I'm so looking forward to this. This is the uh, uh, World of Horror, the console port. Can't fucking wait. It's going to be pretty fucking good. I hope everyone plays it. I hope all like, the big like, YouTubers in that play it as well. So just look at this art so it's sick. I might try and um, uh, be one of the first to play it as well. I do want to try and do that. So I know the game pretty well. Yeah, it also comes out October, right? Yeah, October 19th. Steam Switch in uh, PS4, PS5. Quite looking forward to it. I'm quite looking forward to it. Alright. Well, uh, that's all the uh, traders, I think. Yeah, it's all traders. Alright, cool. But yeah. Let me know what you, you guys are interested in, right? I, this recording's been going for like an hour and ten minutes. An hour and ten minutes, right? So I'm going to go edit that. And it's going to be awful, right? But, uh, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know, right? Let me know. Talk to you later, right? Talk to you later. Uh, bye? Yeah. Go bye.